up that inside view uh, lets me see am I going to clobber the light pole in the middle of the parking lot? Am I going to drag the trailer tires through the landscaping somewhere? Whatever the case may be. So if your customers low speed, high steering angle situation, parking lots obviously, uh, maybe a bolt ramp, lumber yard, landscape supply, whatever the case may be. It's uh, here, so you know, there's the truck views you're used to. Hit the arrow, that brings up the corresponding trailer view with the trailer view. And we have similar functionality on the transparent view, which we'll discuss more throughout the drive. But as you can see, with maybe a quarter to a half turn, there gives you a chance to see how seamlessly it stitches the two images together, the way the uh, striping lines up. Which, yeah, to me it's impressive considering, even with this comparatively small trailer, there's easily 20 feet of separation between the back of the trailer and the tailgate. Another new addition is in reverse, if I go to just that rear trailer camera, we gain this overlay. So that's gonna be for the jackknife alert we'll cover next. The blue grid's basically showing where our rig's backing up. The yellow lines show us where the trailer is going to head based on steering input. So now I can back up with more precision just using this screen because every little steering input, I can instantly see how that's going to change the attitude of the trailer instead of waiting to see it take off in the mirrors. So here I can see I'm a little to the right. So just gently got it back. There we're much better centered. So make up for that over correction. There we're through the uprights, fairly centered. And ending up probably six to eight inches off that cone with the rear of the trailer. So you're gonna benefit all skill levels, but being built off of the transparent view, because this is obviously taking this image, but then there are seven dimensions that the customer will supply into their trailer profile to set that view up. So overall length to the center line of the axles and the and this case width height and then aspects of you know the hitch and the coupler so that way it can calculate how to make this view best fit within that box so the point I'm building toward is those measurements are already saved in the system already there they're coming up with new ways we can benefit from using that information so first one as I said is the jackknife alert so back to that trailer camera we're gonna look at this graphic now so as it trailer swings to either side when it gets to the yellow driver is going to get a vibration through that side of the safety alert seat into the red a more aggressive pulse and then it's going to jump to the hitch view to get our attention you can change it to an auditory alert instead of the vibration to me, it's a little on the quiet side. Doesn't grab your attention quite like that jolt through the seat. So here, I'm behind on my steering. It's taking off to our right. And there, buzz, buzz. And then the more aggressive pulse getting me to apply the brakes. So it's still up to me to stop the truck. What I found from experience of out on the highway once kind of the newness of this view wore off, I got to where it's like, I know the trailer's back there. I know it's got about three feet of diamond plate on it. I'm cool trusting it's back there without seeing it. Just show me what I can't see behind me. So I would tend to use this view, open up that big blind spot behind the trailer, but then adds a lot of width as well. Cause like here, normal seating position, if I'm looking in the right mirror, I'm seeing about that much. So really adds to what I'm able to see in the mirrors, what I'm able to see over my shoulders. There are those that their brain works a little differently than mine. So for them seeing... Not the ghost one, just the behind one. Uh, actually, well, actually you don't have to have the trailer camera because this is coming off the mirror mount. Okay. So like here, if I go to the left side, that's where the camera is. So right under the base of the mirror mount. So yeah, this, the red box, 
requires that rear trailer camera because it requires transparent to be set up because this is that first dimension of the overall length. So even though it's not physically using that rear camera, it's sort of a sub feature, which, so if that makes sense, that it, it needs to be there to utilize this. Uh, Cause last fall, I was pulling a pre-production escalator around working with cats are on an eight second countdown if I'm above seven miles an hour. So looking down in the bed, looking down on the hitch, and I'm gonna slow down and shut the timer off. The second camera inside the trailer. So customers driving down the road, thumpity bang, boom. Did the Harley or the dirt bikes get loose? Is the horse having a problem? Whatever the case may be allows us to make that judgment call of, I need to pull over right now and take care of this, or it can safely wait for the next exit. Or in my case, I'm pretty sure I just heard the spare tire fall over. I can keep on trucking. So when we did the jackknife alert, it was that image we were able to see his truck. 